Hey guys, it's Ben Hennett here. We're down at Skill Park watching Nitro Circus warm up for their big show tonight. This is one of the things I like to get into in my spare time outside of footy. So we're going to go around and find out a bit more about the guys from Nitro Circus and what they get up to. Special Greg, Special Greg, how's the tour been so far? It's, it's been going great. I mean, seven shows, can't, couldn't ask for a better turnout. People are coming out to support Nitro Circus Live, and it's just been huge. Okay. Lately, I've been trying out the, the BMX. I've been hanging out with these BMX guys, the pro riders, and learning a few tricks. So uh, I've got it. You know, I got a trick that I, I'd like to try tonight. Hopefully, I can land it. Calling it a special flip, and uh, it's you basically kind of do a backflip, grab back onto the seat of the bike. The bike stays in the air straight. You know, do a backflip, grab the seat, get back on. So, has that trick ever been done before? Uh no, no. It's, it's. I mean, Townsville is the first time I landed it, rode away, and uh, since then I've probably landed it once. But um, no, it's really, it's kind of fresh and new to me, and I'm really excited about it. So it's. it's but uh, you got to watch out. It's gigantic wrap every now and then. We'll send somebody down on something that wasn't meant to be jumping. And uh, the biggest chant that you hear the crowd say it, the biggest chant is you ride it, you jump it. So you gotta watch out because folks will end up riding things that they don't plan on jumping. You got a couple things like a cooler, a tandem bicycle, a shopping trolley, you got things that are uh, should be a good time. Just go. awesome. Yeehaw! Being a part of Nitro Circus is like the best thing ever. You know, I start off every year doing a, a tour, can hang out with the best riders in the world, like Travis Pastrana, Chucky Norris, Blake Bilko Williams. And, you know, it's, it's just so much fun. BMX riding, there's plenty of injuries. Can you run us through a couple of your worst injuries? Um, I've broken plenty of bones. I've broken both thumbs, both big toes, my kneecap, my collarbone, my right ankle. Um, you know, just plenty of knockouts and sprains, bumps and bruises. But I have to say, the worst uh, worst injury was uh, I had a staph infection in my left kneecap, and that was just the worst thing you could do. So, is there any team you follow in the NRL? Is there one especially that you? Broncos, of course. Well, it was, it was funny though because my uncle actually played a quarterback for Denver Broncos, uh, which is a different kind of football uh, in, in the U.S. So I was always kind of partial, always, you know, these dirty guys from Broncos. It's like, all right, that, that works, that works good for me. We actually changed spot with us today. This is our obviously rugby link shirt. We've now turned them into an absolute extreme bikes, mountain bikes. Everything's going on in here today. Uh, Nitro Circuit is just all about whatever you can fly. Anything you can jump. If it has wheels, try it down the gigantic ramp and uh, see if it goes. And honestly, we've, we've done pretty good on injuries because there's so many guys that throw in stuff that's never been done before and for those guys to week after week push themselves push themselves and, and you'll still be able to you know perform and still put on a great show I think you know coming down to Gold Coast everyone's really really pumped at this their last show. <laughs> Talking about injuries you've had a fair few in your time is there any that really stand out in your career that you've had so far? I think the greatest part about our sport is that you don't just get hit kind of hard when you go down you go down really hard you don't remember so if you don't remember it never really happens. But waking up the next day, and usually, uh, you know, broken ankles, legs, knees. I think ACL has been the, the best. or worst. I've had uh, four ACL reconstructions now. Uh, torn rotator cuff, uh, dislocated spinal column, shattered pelvis, snaps back. I haven't broken my neck yet, knock on, knock on wood there. And, uh, you know, concussions always suck. But uh, other than that, I think it's pretty safe sport. So how did this all start for you, Travis? How did you get into this? Uh, for me, it's just what we did with my mom and my dad. Uh, as a family, every weekend from the time I was four, we just went riding dirt bikes and uh, you know, loved it every second of it. How did, how did you know that you were good at it? Was there one trick you did or was there something that uh, you you were in that you did really well to hang a lot and make a living out of this? I mean, no, I had four, uh, went down to the national championships, uh, you know, and my parents were like, oh, well, you know, every parent thinks their, their kid's going to be what, you know, the next great thing or whatever. But, like, as long as I was working hard and trying, like my dad said, if I ever have to tell you to go run, we're not going driving to Florida on the weekend. If I ever have to tell you to go ride, no problem. I'm going to get my Harley back and just take the mortgage out of the house and we're going to stop and you're going to do construction the rest of your life. So, 
uh, it was pretty uh, pretty good in that sense. Uh, the best bit of advice I think you give a uh, you know, young kid coming up is do it because you're, you're having fun. I mean, you know, with uh, with your sport, I mean, there's no amount of money in the world worth the physical beating and the amount of, of training and work that it takes. But there's no amount of the money that I would rather do it. I would pay every dime that I made in work construction every day to be able to do what I do. And I, I love it. And I think if you're passionate about something, you'll find a way to make it work. Look at that. We've got Travis on board with the Broncos. Thanks very much, Travis, for having a chat. All Thank the best you. to your crew tonight. Keep the grips and up. We love it. Look forward to getting on the bike too. Well, the show's about to start. The boys are getting pumped. And what they're doing is real stuff. It makes us look like teddy bears. That's me signing off from Skill Park. Catch you later on Footy Social.